Brett Brown here with a very special Mountain West Minute. As we wind down our time here at the network, we're going to start counting down our greatest memories and moments. Today, we're bringing you the top five quarterbacks during the Mountain era. That's 2006 until present. Now, we let our panel vote, and of course, we let you, the fan, vote on Twitter and Facebook. And together, here's what we came up with. In at number five, the Aztec signal caller Ryan Lindley. He had big shoes to fill, taking over for future NFL or quarterback Kevin O'Connell, and he stepped up. Under Lindley, the Aztecs made two bowl appearances, including a dominating victory over Navy in the 2010 Poinsettia Bowl. Lindley was drafted by the Arizona Cardinals in the sixth round of the 2012 NFL Draft. Number four, how about Air Force's all-time winningest quarterback, Tim Jefferson? He was a part of Troy Calhoun's first recruiting class at the Academy, and yes, he picked a good one. The Falcons went to a bowl game every year that Jefferson was the starter, and they won two of those bowls. Jefferson was everything that defines leadership. Number three, BYU's Max Hall. Hall was a three-year starter for the Cougars. He finished his career holding the BYU record for wins with 32. He also holds the all-time BYU and Mountain West records for touchdowns in a game when he threw seven, yes, seven against UCLA. In at number two, Utah's Brian Johnson. Johnson also had some big shoes to fill, replacing the number one NFL draft pick, Alex Smith. And he did just that. Johnson was a three-year starter. He was named the MVP of the 2007 Poinsettia Bowl. Then in 2008, he led Utah to a perfect 13-0 record, including a 31-17 victory over Alabama in the Sugar Bowl. Johnson was 26-7 as a starter for the U's, and now he's currently the offensive coordinator under Kyle Whittingham. He's young. And the top QB during the Mountain Era, Andy Dalton of TCU. He was a four-year starter in Fort Worth, and the Horned Frogs appeared in a bowl game every year Dalton was under center. He was named the MVP of two of those bowls. He led the Horned Frogs' resurgence. You're welcome, Big 12. Perhaps the outstanding and crowning moment was when Dalton led TCU to a perfect 13-0 season that included a Rose Bowl victory over Wisconsin in 2010. He's the Mountain West's all-time leader in total offense, and as you can guess, he's TCU's all-time winningest quarterback. Hey, you, I, you probably saw we didn't have Kellen Moore on there. He only played one year. You got to do better than that, Kellen, but you got a nod from some people. Disagree with our list or have a thought of your own? Let us know on Facebook or Twitter. That's all for your Mountain West Minute. Have a great day. The Mountain.TV, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, mobile. Stay connected to The Mountain online.